Here's a new tutorial presented to you all by Archer Bullseye. For those of you who don't know, he's been doing a lot of hard work for us behind the scenes of Crypto Tips, research, uh, moderating our Discord, and helping out in a lot of different ways, like producing videos like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what Archer has to say. Awesome. Thanks, Heidi. Today we're going to be looking at the Rabi Wallet plus the Uniswap Exchange a decentralized alternative to government-regulated centralized exchanges. We'll go through how to make a swap, as well as look at some of the key fundamentals like slippage and transaction fees. So we're going to go ahead and go to uniswap.org, which is a decentralized exchange. And in this situation, I'm first going to start off by changing the chain to Polygon, as that's where I've got some funds stored. We'll go ahead and connect and choose the Rabi Wallet, because that's uh, what I'm using currently. It may say MetaMask there. Uh, if it doesn't recognize your Rabi Wallet, you may need to go in and temporarily disable your MetaMask wallet as an extension in order for Rabi to show up. So we've gone ahead and we'll select a token USDC and go ahead and put a one in here just to take a look. Now, uh, if you click on this little chevron, uh, drop down chevron, you'll be able to see both the network fee and the price impact. As we make the number that we're trading larger, the larger dollar amount, uh, you'll see that the price impact will go up. Now, this is a very large liquidity pool because a lot of people trade between Matic and USDC. If we were to go and find a much smaller liquidity pool like AMP here, you'll see that it does not have the liquidity to trade for this pair. And if we take a smaller amount, um, we have a huge price impact. Even at $500, if we were to try and complete this trade, we would lose uh, 83% of our original val value just doing this trade. So that's something that you definitely need to be aware of, uh, is the slippage. So we'll go back and uh, we'll just do uh, just one for right now. And we hit swap. And we're going to want to confirm those details and confirm the swap. Uh, with Rabi Wallet, it comes up with a lot of useful information. Uh, it's got your whole trade here, what you're paying, you're receiving, the minimum you'd receive, and also um, interacting with that contract, whether you've interacted with it before or not. And then also the token simulation results, so what you would actually be getting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sign and submit, and then confirm. And bam, there we go. So we've completed a successful swap on Uniswap. So what if you're going and trying to make a trade alert, maybe on a, a smaller coin or a micro cap? In this situation will use roll Bitcoin. And you open Uniswap and it gives you this warning. Oh no, this token is not actively traded on US exchanges. What is the problem? So instead of freaking out, what you can do is you can go in and you can verify the contract address. So over here on the right hand side we can see it ends in 3F3D. So if we go out to CoinGecko and we search for RLB, and there it is, we can verify the actual contract token address. Now you have to be careful, this here is a Solana address, so we want to drop down and look at this Ethereum address, so 3F3D. So great! So what we can also do, just to make sure, if we can copy that address, go in here to cancel, and paste the address in here. Instead of looking for the token name, we can actually search by the contract address. And that's how we can ensure that we're doing the correct token contract and not a scam token. Lastly, we want to talk about slippage and transaction fees. These are the two most common ways that your transaction will fail. So one, if it is a smaller liquidity pool and your slippage is not set high enough, the transaction may fail. So depending on that liquidity pool, you'll want to make sure you have the, an adequate amount of slippage in there. Now, as it says, if your slippage is too high, someone may front run you, 
which would mean slipping their transaction in front of you and causing yours to execute at a higher price. So just be aware. The second part is the gas fees. If your gas fee is not high enough, your transaction may also fail because other people will be prioritized in front of your transaction and therefore your transaction will not execute. Uh, unlike in Bitcoin, which will just sit in the pool forever, on smart contract chains like Ethereum, after a certain amount of blocks, it will kick out your transaction and that transaction will fail. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, check out my earlier video on the Rabi Wallet overview.